we read a book from Monica Wellington not too long ago, and it was a lot of fun. And this one is a bilingual book also written by Monica Wellington, and this one is titled Apple Farmer Annie. Apple Farmer Annie. In español, Ana cultiva manzanas. Ana cultiva manzanas. So it's about Annie and her farm and how she creates many things that she sells in the city but produces in her farm. So she makes these things in the farm. She packs them up. She takes them in her truck to the city and hopefully she will sell them like many people have done before in the farm market. Ready? Let's learn what Annie's apple farm can create. Ana cultiva manzanas. Tiene un huerto grande, lleno de manzanos. Annie is an apple farmer. She has a big orchard of apple trees. I can see the ha the farm the house, the farm, the land, her crops, her trees, and obviously her truck. Durante el otoño recoge cestas y cestas de manzanas redondas y maduras. In the fall, she picks baskets and baskets of round, ripe apples. You see the baskets here? And I see still more apples and our little cat there. But you see, she's able to reach these apples. Ana cultiva muchas clases de manzanas, las separa y las organiza. She grows many kinds of apples. She sorts and organizes them. So these greens are Granny Smith. These yellows are Golden Delicious. And I'm assuming these would be Red Delicious because they look the same size. But these could be either Fuji, they could be Cortland, they could be Macintosh. So there are different names to apples. Ana usa algunas manzanas para hacer dulce sidra de manzana. Annie uses some of the apples to make sweet apple cider. You see the machine? This is where you put the apples. She uses a level. They squeeze all of the apples that are in here. And then down in the bottom is the pot filling up with the apple cider. And then look, she has a funnel. She puts them in the gallons so that they can be ready to be sold. So our dog and cat are really paying attention to Annie. So we have apple cider. I wonder what else she can make with apples. Usa otras para preparar una deliciosa compota de manzanas. She uses others to make delicious smooth applesauce. Well, look at that. I didn't know about applesauce. Look at the jars that she already has. So apple cider, apple sauce, hmm, sounds delicious to me. Let's see some more. Le encanta hornear panecillos dulces, tartas, y pasteles con las manzanas. She loves baking muffins, cakes, and pies with her apples.
So, muffins, cakes, apple pie, apple cider, apple sauce, and apples. Gee, she knows how to make a lot of things. Look at her truck. Pero guarda las más hermosas para venderlas en el mercado. She's, but she saves the most beautiful ones of all to sell fresh at the market. So that's why she has so many baskets. Oh, okay. So she's not only selling apple cider and apple pies and apple sauce and apple cakes and pies. She's also selling her apples so that they can buy the beautiful apples that people love to bite on. And you see, she lived in the farm. She's going to the city. And I know because the city has lots of buildings and a bridge to cross over. And if you see her truck, it's crossing over the bridge. Coloca las cajas en el camión y conduce hasta la ciudad. She loads everything into her truck and drives to the city. And look at all the traffic signs. Interesting, right? The different shapes we have. We have circle. We have triangle, we have uh, a diamond, a square, a rectangle, an octagon. Wow. Got a lot of things in this book, huh? Well, here's her stand, and it says Annie's Apples. Un Ana monta su puesto en el mercado de los granjeros. Annie, the apple farmer, sets up her stand in the farmer's market. So she has her apples, candy apples. She has apple cake, apple muffins, apple sauce, apple pies, apple cider. You see this scale? It's used to weigh how many pound how many pounds of apples. She can also weigh the cake if she wanted to. But I guess the cake already has it by slice. And other things are just sold by, you know, jar or the pie itself. But these might be by the pound. That's why there's a scale. And guess what? People love her stuff. Look at that. Muchos clientes visitan el puesto de Ana. Ella está ocupada todo el día. Lots of customers come to Annie's stand. She is busy all day long. You see? That's why you need a cash register to put the money in that people are paying and have changed for those who don't have money um, exactly at the amount that she's asking for. Today they use apps and they also use debit cards and credit cards like swiping on a, on a machine. But look, at the end of the day, Al final del día lo ha vendido todo. Recoge las cosas para regresar a la casa. By the end of the day, she has sold everything. She packs up to go home. I'm glad she sold everything. She should have everything empty so that way she has more money for herself to survive and live where she lives in the farm. And guess what? She's home. Ana está cansada, pero contenta. Es tan agradable tener un huerto de manzanas. Annie is tired, but happy. It feels so good to have her own apple farm. Isn't that awesome? Question, would you like to have an apple farm? Or would you make another kind of farm? Maybe a pear farm. 
maybe a peach farm, maybe um, a farm full of nuts. What would you like? Maybe of oranges or even citrus fruits, you know, lemons, limes, grapefruits, grapefruits and um, oranges. So remember, smart is not something you are. Smart is something you get.